might not be applicable, right? You might you might not want the zeros in the batting averages because it might that might be indicating that these people didn't have any at bats or anything like that, right? So maybe we trim off the zeros and on the high side as well, you could say, well, one uh, or 100%, possibly that's because they had a very low at bats. They might not have that many at bats. So this, these are kind of skewing our data. Uh, you know, if they had like, if they had one at bat and they got hit. So oftentimes we might say, maybe it would be better for me to trim off the extreme numbers and so I can filter by hitting the drop down and say, maybe I should trim off all of the zeros. Maybe I'll keep everything else. And maybe I trim off like the 100s and anything that's a blank that doesn't have anything in it, then I want to remove those as well. So, so I'll trim down my data to that, thinking that maybe that's a more a better representation you know, of the people in, in the data set. So now notice what happened is it hid some rows because I filtered, I filtered those out. So it goes from two to six. That's why I don't want to have anything to the right of my data set, because if I have this filtered, it's going to, it's going to squish up all of, all of the stuff I do to the right because it removed these rows. That's why I'd rather copy this information now that it's filtered and paste what I want to deal with in another tab. So I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to call it blank. Uh, two, or let's call this one blank data. This is the blank data. It's not blank data, but it's the data for our, our blank worksheet. And then I'm going to copy this. I'll select these two and then I'll say control shift down. So it goes down to the bottom. I'm going to right click and copy it and then go to my blank worksheet, paste it. I'm going to hold control shift and scroll in a little bit. In A1, I'm going to place it just one, two, three. All right, so there we have it. And then the top bit, I'm just gonna put emboldened, home tab, uh, uh, font, and emboldened. And then I'll put a table around this one. After it notice, I, I've removed those top bits. Like if I go to the last one, you, you might think, you might think, hey, maybe it still pulled in those ones, but it didn't because like if I copy this, control C, and you look at the dancing ants and I unfilter, and I say, uh, remove the filters or select all. Actually, already, that's not where the filter was. Remove the filters. You can see the dancing ants are not around these ones because we filtered them out. So the filtered ones are not included here. So now I'm going to insert a table, insert table, and then I'm going to say, okay. And then batting average, this is for 1920, uh, let's say. So there we have it. Names a little bit larger. Let's do the same thing for the 2022 control shift down. And so now I wanna pick up the 2022. There's my batting averages. I'll do the same thing. I don't want these blank numbers and I don't want the zeros and I don't want the hundreds because those are probably skewed stats possibly because of the number of at bats or whatever, right? So here's like this one even has a 0.04 that's, you know, pretty low, you know, maybe we remove the 0.04 and the 0.05 and, and I'll keep the ones after that. And then I'll go down to the bottom and this one goes up to 0.75. Let's get rid of the blanks. 0.75 is pretty out there. It's probably, probably, uh, probably one person that didn't have that many at bats, but I'll keep it and we'll say, okay. So then I'm going to copy these two control shift down and then uh, control C copy. I'm going to put this on the blank tab and we'll put it up here in D one, right click and paste it. Just one, two, three, selecting the top bit, home tab, font group data or bold. And then I'm going to put my cursor somewhere in the table and go into the insert tables and put a table around it the dancing ants doing their table dance it's not like a not like a table dance at like a it's a it's a dance that makes a table they're not like dancing on the table the table it like makes rain the dance it's not like you know what i'm talking about the t table dance but in any case this is going to be 
batting average for 2022, I think it was, right? Now note that you can see these data sets are in a decimal format. You can put them in a percent format, right? Uh, but sometimes when we do our our, our uh, norm.dist, it's useful to see them as whole numbers. So I might, I'm gonna multiply these times. I'm gonna insert a, ta a tab here, insert. I'm gonna multiply these times 100. So, so this is gonna be, I'll say it's the same thing, batted average. Uh, batting average uh, BA 1920 again batting average 1920 and, but I'll say multiply times 100 this equals this times 100 so, and then let's add a decimal uh, home tab number group uh, actually do I need to add decimals no I'll keep it like that I'll put an H after it for whole numbers okay 